Thank you. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. I I did it. I made it to another episode. Um, apologies for the lack of uh, episodes. Uh, and that, Singular, not... Um, I don't know. Yeah, well, okay, yeah. Sorry for the lack of episode. Last week, um, I had like a last minute deadline that I had thrown at me. Um, and I had to move some stuff around and pretty much go absolutely, uh, go absolutely beast mode, um, on an edit. So I had to, I didn't have time to do a podcast because I was just stuck in my office editing for like several days straight. So I apologize for that, but, um, we're back. Okay. We're back in full force. All right. Um, this is, welcome back to the podcast, by the way, this is episode, um, something, what episode is this? This is, this is episode, um, fucking 202, all right? 20, it's like 303, dude, I still have 101 episodes, so we get to episode 303, all right, listen, I'm putting this out there now. If by some fucking miracle I'm still doing this podcast by episode three hundred and three, I am gonna have I'm gonna have three oh three as a guest. Okay, I'm putting that out into the universe. All right, I'm manifesting it. Um, that'd be like the worst. Uh, that'd be like the worst fucking festival ever. Manifest, just men, or just people. No, if there was a festival called Manifest, it would just be, like, people being on stage, being like, okay, okay, Drake is going to show up. He's going to show up. Drake is going to show up on stage. Drake will show up on stage in the next 10 minutes. Everybody's just manifesting the artists that they want, and then nobody shows up. That's actually a fucking business, like, genius idea. Because then, like, you can have just no artist show up, and then... um. Hold on. Am I plugged into the right? Um, yeah, that's genius because you can like have no, you don't have to pay an artist to be, that sounds better. Okay. You don't have to like pay an artist to be there, right? You could just be like, just manifest who you want and they'll show up. And then when no one shows up, you could be like, well, looks like you didn't manifest hard enough. Looks like you should have manned up. You should have manifested a little harder than that if you really want the fucking, if you really wanted Frank Ocean to, to show up. This is on you. That'll be $300, by the way. Also, I don't know if you can tell. Fuck. I brought... This is a new prop, okay? New prop, new set design piece in the podcast, dude. I don't know if you can see it, but... It's the... This is a a graded three... Centering got an eight, the edges got a six, surface got an eight, but the corners got a two and a half. So it brought it down a lot. But um, this is the episode that I did. I did an episode, a, a Curtis Corner about this, about the C3PO with a dick, a trading card, a Star Wars trading card with C3PO. With, he, he has a huge boner, and I bought one for the studio. So that's going to go. How about we put that right? Fucking, I don't know. How about right there? Put C-3PO's dick right behind me. Um, but yeah, dude. Uh, if, if you're looking at me and you're like, wow, Curtis, is uh, is he is he sporting a... Uh, is he sporting a fucking soul patch these days? Is this guy... Is this guy donning a patch? Is this guy... Is this guy making a quilt? Because look at that patch, dude. I think people are here. That sucks. Um, it's not a soul patch, dude. It is not a soul patch. It is um, it's a cold sore. Okay, I'm dealing with a little bit, a little cold sore right now. All right, and all the comments are going to be like, "Oh my god, is that herpes? You have herpes, Curtis. You have herpes." And it's like, shut the fuck up. You know, grow up. All right, it's not. It is it, like it technically, medically, it is a form of herpes, but it's not like the herpes, herpes. Okay. Um. So I've been fucking putting a breathe on it like crazy, dude. I hate the winter. I hate the winter time so much. I always forget how fucking brutal the winter is in Canada, where I live. Um. 
and I've and I've had like twenty seven winters now. This will be my twenty eighth winter. So, uh, it, it's still be every year. You're like, oh yeah, fuck. My dandruff gets so bad, and uh, so does and my so my dandruff flares up, my eczema flares up. I get a I get one cold sore because, dude, I checked la- this exact same time last year. I had a cold sore like this exact time. It showed up on like the exact day almost. It's fucked up. So I guess that's my new uh, my new routine. So that's fun. Um, so yeah, I've been itching myself like crazy with my eczema and stuff and my, my dandruff, my scalp. So I've been a mess. Okay. I've been a fucking mess, but my body's just getting used to it, man. Uh, and also dude, the the sun goes down. The sun goes away so fast, you know, it's like when you throw a party, like when you're a kid and you invite like everybody, like your, all your friends and like on a whim, you invite like the cool kid in your grade and you're like, dude, if fucking, if Max shows up, that'd be awesome. And then Max shows up and it's like, no fucking way, dude, Max. Where'd you, how'd you get Max here? He's fucking, oh, he's doing so many awesome tricks on his tech deck. That's, oh, he's fucking so cool. And you know, we were just about to have like pizza and cake and then he dips and then he leaves. That's how I feel with the sun. The sun is Max in that, you know? Cause it's like, I'm having a great time. Look at the sun. We're having a good day. And then he's like, peace out. And you're like, hey. You're inside, you go, it's, he's out having a good time. You go into the bathroom, take a shit. You come out, he's gone. The sun's gone and it's pitch black outside. What happened? What did I do? Did I do something? Sun? So that sucks, but you know what? It sucks, it sucks to suck, man. Speaking of sun, yo. Uh, last few days. Um... I've been fucking gaming hard, okay? I haven't done that in a while, all right? But the day after I uploaded my video, dude, actually, you know what? I think, yeah, the day after I uploaded my video, I didn't do fucking anything. Because like I said, I edited for like two, three days straight pretty much. Um, So I was like, fuck it. I'm not doing shit. So the night, the night I, the, the like the Saturday, the night of, the, the, the day that I uploaded my video, I downloaded god of war ragnarok and played it for a bit on saturday night and then all of sunday played it and then all of monday i played it actually no it was when did i upload my video hold on i think i might have played it before i don't know but I played it like fucking nonstop on Sunday and Monday. And uh, I th- yeah, it was, a, I think it was like, I had it for like three or four days, I think. And I, I fucking blazed through it, dude. I beat it. I beat it in like three or four days. Um, because like, I kept getting like the beginnings of spoilers of it on TikTok. And I was like, I don't want to fucking worry about this. I should just fucking finish it. So I don't have to worry about spoilers. Okay. Um, and I'll do a little review. All right, I'll do a little review of uh of um of God of War Ragnarok. Uh spoiler free of course, but um uh, for all my gamers out there, this is my review of God of War Ragnarok. Um so I played the first one back in 2018 when it came out and I loved it a lot. It was a lot of fun. Um story was cool. I loved the gameplay. Um my only issue with it was like the lack of like variety and enemies, especially like bosses, uh, you I, you'd feel like you just put you'd just beat like a different colored troll in every place you go to, um. But this one, yo, Ragnar, dude, it might be honestly, it might be the best game I ever played. In, it might it might be it might be the best game I've played in the last ten years. I'll say it, dude. I I liked it better than. Spider-Man for PS4, which is crazy because I really, really liked that game. Um, the gameplay was just so much better than the first one. There's so many more things you can do, and like you can really play it how you want. There's like the story was so good, like the conflict was like, I it was like crazy the whole time. You're like, I don't know what's gonna happen next, or some crazy twists and shit. Like, and like the voice acting, dude, the voice actor for Odin. 
so good. Like I could not believe how good. He, like he he played a will a villain like so well. Um, and yeah, I'm gonna admit it. I am I. I almost cried at the end, dude. I felt a little bit of tears coming out, and I was like, "No, it didn't get it didn't hit me enough for me to do that." But I was like, "I, I, if I really wanted to, I could have. Trust me, I could have cried." Um, but if you're looking for a number, I'm going ten out of ten, bro. I'm going ten out of ten for God of War Ragnarok. All right. It's a good game. It's a good game. Also, it was making me really mad, which is nice. I haven't been mad at a... Uh, I haven't been, like, really mad at a video game in a while, so that was cool. Because, um, yo, when I was a kid, dude, I used to get so... I used to get so fucking mad. Like, embarrassingly mad. I used to cry, dude. That's the, uh, that's the old reason I would cry at video games, because I kept dying or my friend kept killing me. So I'd be like throwing my controller around being like, I can't fucking do it. <laughs> it did. It's so, emb- <laughs> it's so embarrassing. I remember one time, bro, my friend Connor, and I know my best friend growing up, his name was Connor. And that's my last name. Isn't that so crazy? Um, he spelled it O-R. Okay. My friend Connor, fucking great dude. Um, he, uh, he had this game, bro. He had this game on his PS2 called Freedom Fighters. And it was about, like, Americans versus, like, Russians. And uh, they had a two... There was, like, a regular one-player thing. And then there was a two-player mode you could play. And we played it all the time. Um, and no matter what, he was always the Americans. And I was always stuck being, like, the the Russians or whatever they were. Um... And no matter what, because I think it would always go back to like, oh, it's my house. I get to do that, which is like fair. And when you're a kid, that actually makes a lot of sense. Um, but they were just fucking better. They had the better guns. They had like shotguns and stuff. And like, they were just so much better. And um, no matter what I did, Connor would fucking whip my ass in this game. He would wipe the fucking floor with me every time. And there, I remember there was one time where he just kept fucking killing me in this game. And I was like, all right, fuck it, whatever. And I, like, threw the controller down. I was like, I gotta go to the bathroom. And I went to the bathroom, and I, and I had a little cry. Now, this stays here, all right? This story stays between us, okay? Don't screen record this shit and put it on TikTok or some bullshit. I will fucking block you, and I'm not joking, okay? If I see this anywhere, anywhere, I am blocking you. All right? Just let that be a warning, okay? I understand. Oh, I forgot to turn my light on. That's why it looks so weird. Hold on. Yeah, dude. Now the light's on. Lights up and in the hay. That looks so much better, dude. I was like, I was fucking pot. I was doing a pot in the dark, man. What the hell's up with that? Um, oh yeah, shout out, uh, shout out to the Patreon. I'm doing. If you're not subscribed to the Patreon, what are you doing, man? There's like 20 bonus episodes over there. You get access to, like that. I'm also about to record another bonus episode. Uh, after this episode, so go check it out. Patreon.com slash very, really good. Um, yeah, fucking check it out, dude. Um, <clears throat> what else has been going on, man? I saw the... Um, man, I've been doing a lot, bro. I've been, I've been all over the place, dude. I went to the uh, BB No Money and Young Gravy show here in Toronto. Um, and it was fucking fun as hell, dude. It was fun as shit. We got... Uh, me, Jacob, and Dean went with our... our uh, our buddy Freddie and his and his GF and um yeah we hung out I, I met uh I met BB No Money a few times but I met Young Gravy for the first time and yo that guy's tall as fuck the hell I I like I saw like 
comments and stuff and like videos being like, yeah, this is, he's tall. I'd say he's like a tall guy, but like, dude. When I like when I walked in the green room, everyone was like, there was like a guy there like handing out binoculars, and I was like, what's it? What's this for? Was like, is this like a funny like gag thing? They're like, no, you need it to like make eye contact with Young Gravy and for like to like have a conversation that makes sense. It was fucked. Like he had to like he was so far away because he's so tall, you know. Um, but yeah, dude is tall. So I posted on my story being um, a picture of us like me and Young Gravy because I was like, just that'd be jokes to get a picture, you know, to you know. So I posted it. I was like, whatever. Okay. Went on with my night. And then I get home. I'm like looking at my Instagram DMs. And like every single response to that is, uh, every single response to that picture was, Shaw, short king. You short king. Just a little short guy. Why are you so little? You're a little boy. Can't believe how small you are. You're like a little boy. Boy, you're a tiny little baby little boy. Pick you up, burp you. So, let me just say, Young Gravy's like six foot seven, okay? I'm a nice, comfortable five nine, all right? Five nine and three quarters, I'll say. Almost five ten, <laughs> okay? A nice, cozy five nine and three quarters, all right? Height so good, make you cry in the bathroom at Connor's house, all right? The height's so perfect, you could cry about it in Connor's bathroom, all right? So, in comparison to that man, yeah, I'm short. But to general public, I'm average, all right? So shut the, shut the fuck up, all right? I'm not a short guy with herpes. I'm an average guy with a cold sore, all right? So that's a little tip for you guys, all right? Do not get a picture with Young Gravy if you are not at least 6'5", okay? Because all the comments are going to be like, I love baby. I love baby boy. I got enrolled in daycare because of that. <laughs> I got called a little boy so many times. The FBI called me. They're like, yeah, I think we made a mistake. It says on all your documents that you're 28, but you keep getting DMs saying you're a little baby. So you're going to preschool. You're going to preschool tomorrow. I'm like, what? I, is that a thing the FBI does? They're like, yeah. This is where the tax money goes. You put adults in preschool. It's embarrassing, man. All right, fuck it. That's what my life is. I'm itchy as fuck. I'm gaming like crazy. Watch my new video. I don't know. <laughs> Let's get into some let's get into some heat, bro. Let's get into some silly shit. All right. Guys, I found I found some heat, all right? Not many people have responded to this. Not many people have seen this. Not many people have seen this video, okay? This is a hidden gem. This is like a, something, this is something you can never believe. (laughs) This is, like, okay, I can't even describe it. There's this video that I'm, that we're going to watch together. It has 6,000 views. It was uploaded four years ago. So what? That's like, a fat 1.5 K. 1.5, one point five, yeah, fifteen hundred views a year. Quick math. That's not a lot of views, okay. And I found it, all right. And it's crazy. The video, the full title is SFPD five O on it. Music video. Josh McDermott, SFPD, and the Santa Fe community final draft copy. They forgot to delete those last words. I love it. That's beautiful. Um, Okay, let's watch it. I don't know if we're going to get to the whole thing, but we'll watch it. Santa Fe (laughs) PD. Okay. Already the worst start to a rap song ever. Santa Fe PD. 
So if you couldn't tell, this is the Santa Fe Police Department um, doing a cover of Five on it. It's a parody song of Five on it, and it's Five O on it. This is a... I know I was just talking about the FBI doing silly things with taxpayer money. This is what actually is, is happening with people's money. Okay. See us rolling by. Five O's about to rap for you. <laughs> Five O's about to rap for you. Oh, no. On the Segway, too. Uh, they never should have invented those. Five O's gonna rap for you. Yeah, we out here. Santa Fe PZ, in the city, difference where we be, here to protect and serve citizens selflessly, cause every person here is a VIP, you can catch me on my Segway, rolling around, there in my hair, cracking the smile, usually I'm downtown, but Santa oh, Fe shit, he's great. he's fucking doing a robot? Yeah, we all around, see us patrolling around, your neighborhood, looking for the people up to no good, okay. keep it a- I wanna, okay. So there's, like, other cops. They've got people, like, doing scenes and shit. For, like, it's planned. Who? I want to know why or how this happened. Do you think, like, the police chief was like, all right, great job, everyone. Uh, we've uh, successfully impounded more cars than we've ever impounded. Um. We also um, we've we've also brutalized innocent people um, and protesters at an alarming at, at at a record rate. And I just want to thank you so much, everybody, for uh, for being unnecessarily violent and um, and uh, and abusive of your power. But I think all that aside, we've been doing incredible. But we're really lacking in the in the music video department. <laughs> I think I think uh, it'll be a really good idea if we. Uh... Actually, you know what? I think cops should just. I'm taking everything I just said back. I think cops should only be making music videos, okay? Because this gets them off the street, you know. It, <laughs> it gets them out of everyone's way. You know, because they don't really fucking do anything to begin with. If they they show up like an hour late and then like shoot your dog usually, so um, this is way better. I think this is <laughs> this is much better than what's happening now with police officers. The criminals off the street, making the streets safe for you and your family. Being purple, yellow, black, white, brown, helping people out. Better <laughs> that right there. Call the right there. help you out. Santa Fe PZ. That's what we all about. We got five oh, oh, oh. Oh, flossing. I want to kill myself. That is the worst thing I've ever seen. Also, it doesn't really work with the song. It doesn't. They have to like speed up what they're saying. I got five up oh, on it. Dude, this is propaganda at its finest, man. What else we got? Come on. They're trying to recruit him. So come on and join our team. Hello, officers. I saw that epic music video on YouTube. I would like a job, please. Hold on. Yeah. This is how uh, everyone... This is how you hand the cops... This is how you hand a cop your resume. Um, they go, you go, Hey, I, I, um, Hey, I, I really love that music video. 
um, I would love a job. And they go, can I see your resume? You go, yeah. Here you go. They'll, they'll love the enthusiasm. Obviously, don't do that. Don't even apply for a job. Do not be a police officer. Um... What else Throw we this on the ground, 24-7, day and night. Yeah, they all here rolling around in the black and whites. When kids go to school, we looking out for the needs. Patrolling the school zones and enforcing the speeds. Making sure people stop. No texting and driving, please. We want your kids to arrive home alive. To have a life and thrive, not just survive. Because the safety's no Dude, that's so bad. Like, was there no other police officer who, who could rap? That was the only one? Okay. <laughs> Jesus Christ, man. Isn't there a thing? Hold on. Hold on. Dude, there's a thing. Okay. Guys, wait for this joke, okay? In police terminology, a beat is the territory that a police officer is assigned to patrol. Uh, this guy... This guy's got to learn how to patrol his beat, this beat. This guy's got to learn how to patrol this beat. Thank you so much, guys. Yeah, pretty good one. How come all these kids know how to break dance? Okay. Got no free time. Case load is heavy, work pace is steady, finding clues like Sherlock Holmes, solving crimes like CSI, and DWI. Like, so, like yeah. way too long, you know? Okay, hold on. Dude, I feel... Like, again, I want to be making fun of this, but also this is so much better. Like, this is what cops should be doing. They should only be making, like, silly little rap parodies. Parodies so city, don't drink and drive. Cause we gonna get you, we on point, and we won't miss you. We're looking for the few, the proud, like the Marines. Looking for the best of the best to join our team. So if you think you've got what it takes, apply and check out the testing days. <laughs> Is that all it takes to get it to become a cop? Do you just have to take a test? They're like, okay, so what do you do? Okay, great. Uh, that that does it for the written part of the exam. Uh, you, you pass, hundred percent. Now, um, for the oral presentation, drop a motherfucking beat, Officer Jack. He's like, what the fuck's going on? It's a fucking rap battle, bitch. Ow, fuck! Hit my Colts are on the fucking microphone. It's a rap battle, bitch. Go off. You want to be a cop or not? You better fucking ball. Come on, man. This is the real beat. The beat cop, this is what we mean. All right. Patrolling down the street. I'm looking at some meat. I'm going to buy some meat. And then I'll take you down the street. And everyone's like, yo, dude, what the fuck? That's the best rap I've ever heard, dude. You're hired. You're chief. You're the chief of this fucking station now, dude. Go make a music video on your Segway. Yikes. We got five on it. Oh, God, he's dabbing. You can call us any time. Five holes on it. We got one around preventing crime. Five holes on it. Okay, that's pretty much it. Damn, dude. 
Do that, police. Yo, if I went to like, I don't know how long it takes to become a doctor or, or what? A police officer. I don't know how it makes those up. Um, I don't know how long it takes to become a police officer, but I don't even care. Like if it was 10 years and it was like my passion and I was like, I'm going to become a police officer. I'm going to be a good one. All right. I'm going to be a good cop, even though it's kind of impossible, but I'll be a good one. All right. And they're like, all right, congratulations. You did it. You're a police officer now. Here's your segue. I'd be like, oh, see you later. I'm going to go do literally anything else. You could never catch me being a Segway cop, dude. If someone's like riding a unicycle down the street, they're going to be like, hey, pull over. There can, there can only be one silly bastard on these streets. There can only be one silly little, silly little douchebag riding a, 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 a whimsical little vehicle on, on my streets, and it, and it is I. I am the silly little bastard of these parts. I got five four on it. Is FPD going to rap for you? <laughs> Dude, that's so bad. Uh, yeah, honestly, dude, it's cringe as cringe as it is. Like I said, um, that is, I would much rather prefer, prefer this than uh, what cops are doing these days. Um, I was supposed to talk about this last week, um, but like I said, I was pumping out a main channel video, so I'm talking about it now. So the AMAs happen, all right? Not the Reddit Ask Me Anythings, but the the American Music Awards, and uh, Machine Gun Kelly, he won, I guess, favorite rock artist, which is great. I love Machine Gun Kelly, and I love his rock music. Um, <clears throat> so, in his acceptance speech, he said, uh, there have been some people in the rock community who called me a tourist, but they're wrong, he said. I'm a rocket man. We weren't born on the moon, but we looked at it, and we were curious, and then we, and then we went there supposedly, and these two rock albums were me going to the moon. Like, you couldn't have said a more MGK thing. That's the most Machine Gun Kelly thing a person could say. Even if someone was like, if if someone was just like, Machine Gun Kelly, that is more Machine Gun Kelly than just saying Machine Gun Kelly, believe it or not. Um, and that's all well and good. Good for him. I'm really proud of him. I love Machine Gun Kelly, and I love his music so much. Um, but, yo, we got to talk about this fit, man. I'm I'm not like the, you know what, I don't dress, I'm not like a crazy fashion dude, you know. I like to think I dress okay, you know. I can figure, I can hold my own. Um, maybe not in my past. The last couple of years, I think I figured it out. Um, but this, I don't like it. If you're listening to just the audio here, Machine Gun Kelly wore a purple suit, and it has a bunch of spikes coming out of it, like an like an insane amount of spikes. Like he looks like a what are those things? Those balls, like the sewing, sewing needle balls. You po- you poke a you poke a ball. <laughs> what are they called? Sewing needle holder. It's just like a ball. You poke things in it. Sewing needle holder. Sewing needle holder. Okay, search that and you'll see it. That's what. That's what he looks like. And like, what a dickhead thing to wear. Cause like, could you imagine like sitting beside him? Like, look at dude. Could you imagine sitting beside him at the fucking VMA? I'm sh- sorry, the AMAs. I'm sure it's not actual like real. I'm sure they're just like they look like that. I'm sure they're soft because that's like a dangerous thing. That's like a hazard. But like, if they weren't, dude, could you imagine like sitting next? 
to Machine Gun Kelly. And he's like full of spikes. And you're like, fuck, dude. Ow, why? Why are you wearing that, man? Ow. Fucking poking me and shit. It'd be so... (laughs) And like also, it's on his ass too. So like sitting down would hurt Machine Gun Kelly as well, right? So like every... like. It's like Billie Eilish, like, accepting award, you know, for, like, biggest age gap in, like, relationships. And she's like, um, thank you so much for this award, a- uh, AMA. I just am so excited. It, uh, it means a lot. Um, it's really awesome dating, like, a, thir- a 31-year-old. And I'm, like, 19 or some shit. It's fucking awesome. Um, and then, like, halfway through her speech, all you hear is, like, Machine Gun Kelly from, like, the third row back being like, Oh, yowch! <laughs> You hear like the the, the <laughs> like the cartoon like prick sound. Let me see if I can cartoon poke sound effect. This is what you hear. <laughs> like throughout the whole night, you hear so many like. Acceptance of speech. Acceptance of speech. Like, thank you so much. Thank you so much for this award. I, I, it means so much. Oh, youch, my butt. You just hear that in the distance, and it's Machine Gun Kelly. <laughs> Dude, that's such a goofy little sound. <laughs> Dude, I gotta put that on the soundboard. All right, next episode. This is going on there. <laughs> Oh, this is the worst podcast ever, dude. Um, but yeah, dude. Yeah, like who was sitting? Who was sitting beside him? Machine Gun Kelly, ask me anything. Twenty twenty two. Okay. Yeah, like. Dude, I saw, I swear, dude, okay, that's, okay, look, he's sitting next to Lionel Richie. Look at, look at that poor guy. Look at this poor man sitting, sitting beside this fucking, this sewing needle holder. Fucking Lionel Richie walks up on stage to accept an award. He's just fucking bleeding so much. <laughs> like, thanks. Thank you so much for this award. I'm sort of lightheaded from from receiving this i i don't know i never felt this level of gratitude before it's going right yeah i, I might pass out actually from the gratitude it's not because of all the blood loss because of machine gun kelly there's no way that it's because of machine gun kelly i just want to thank you so much everybody oh yo <laughs> i hope this is picking up on the mic <laughs> there you go And someone is cleaning at my building at 9.45 p.m. Came here to beat all this so no one has to hear me record. I do this out of, out of kindness. But if this is going to happen, I'm going to come during the day. And I'm going to fuck up everybody's fucking silly little business meetings. Yeah, I think Q, Q1 of next year is going to be fucking lit. SFPD gonna rap for you. All right, what do we have? 40 something? All right, we could probably wrap this up. Um, thank you so much for hanging out, uh, listening uh, this week's episode. I appreciate you guys so much. Um, yeah, dude, fucking uh, check out the Patreon. I'm about to record another episode uh, over there. And uh, that's it, dude. Fucking appreciate you. Um, And I hope you have a good week. Take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. And uh, I will see you later. Peace out, guys.